Hello children. Today we are going to start our second chapter that is physical quantities and measurements. In this chapter we will cover first unit that is measurement of length. This chapter is there in your first unit syllabus. Till now you were reading a subject known as science. Now it is it has been distributed into three groups that is physics, chemistry and biology. Physics has got a lot to understand about the happenings going on around us physically these are the building blocks to make up a building of science so understanding these small things will make you understand bigger aspects of science and physics so you have to be very careful and concentrated when it comes to physics or uh, chemistry or biology because this is the foundation period and uh, whatever we are teaching right now it ha- has to play a very vital role in the coming future when you will be dealing with bigger aspects of physics chapter's name is measurement of length importance of measurement in everyday life very often people make guesses we can guess how far delhi is from bangalore or how warm a room is if we think carefully about our guess and use all our knowledge and common sense we are making an estimate estimates are often very useful but they are not exact and can sometimes be very wrong sometimes our senses can mislead us most of the measurements we make in physics need to be firmly accurate In this chapter we shall study some of the basic tools uh, and know how they are employed to have basic or fundamental measurements. So this chapter will guide us to know how measurement works in physics. When we ask you that uh, beta how will you go home you say by walking. So we ask do you live nearby? so you say yes ma'am i live here only my my house is just 5 minutes away from the school then you give an estimate about how long you do you take to come to school and go back so by that estimation we can guess that how far you must be living so in this way we are just dealing with some estimates but sometimes estimates may mislead us knowledge of distance measurement and length etc is very important let us first of all decide what are basic measurements example one imagine you take a piece of cloth to a tailor for making a shirt what will the tailor do he will first measure the length of cloth with measuring tape then he will take measurements of your body after nothing all this he will cut the cloth thus we can say that length is a basic quantity and measuring tape is the tool employed to measure length here the tool is the measuring tape and the basic quantity is length here a green box is given both the circles are of same size but the first one looks smaller because the arrows direct your eyes inwards where has the arrow in the second case direct your eyes outwards this is an interesting thing that has been given to you think about it here are some more examples related to time and there is a blue box length mass time and temperature are basic quantities of measurement they are measured by a meter scale balance clock and thermometer respectively so the length is measured by meter scale mass with a balance time with a clock and temperature with a thermometer time is basic quantity and clock is the tool employed to measure time mass is a basic quantity and the balance is the tool employed to find mass temperature is a basic quantity and thermometer is the tool employed to find temperature there are some pictures given here through which you can relate that how you have come across all these measurement units as well as the tools measurement of length 
figure 2.3 shows two rods ab and cd which are e- almost equal in length however to know which rod is longer we can place them side by side as shown in figure 2.3b thus we can see that rod cd is longer than rod ab so here are the two figures figure a and b 2.3 however there are situations when you just cannot move objects and place them side by side take the example of your teacher's table and the dining table at your home If you want to know which of the two is longer you just cannot carry teacher's table to your house or your dining table to school however you if you measure the length of teacher's table by the spans of your palm and compare with the length of dining table by the spans of your own arm you will easily find out which one of the two tables is longer here we have the definition of length written with the pink font length is the measure of distance between two points length is the measure of distance between two points okay now think that you didn't did do to find the answer you did not move any of the tables instead you moved yourself from the school to the dining room to make a measurement you use third object that is the palm of your hand in the earlier days people used to measure length with the help of parts of body such as outstretched palm foot arm or cubit see it has been clear from the diagrams that are given king henry 1 declared that distance from the tip of his nose to the stretched thumb of his sideways stretched arm should be used as unit of length he called this length as yard but you can see that such units cannot serve as standard for measuring length the simple reason is that they are going to be different for different people so the distance from the tip of your nose to the stretched thumb of your sideways stretched arm will be different from king henry's one right So how is it possible to get a standard measurement? Okay, so there is a blue box which says any quantity which we study in physics is called a physical quantity. Measurement of physical quantity means comparing it with a known standard quantity. each accepted standard quantity is the standard of measurement and is commonly called unit the measure of which is taken to be one so keep this in mind that unit means one unit quantity means one okay standard unit a unit which is acceptable to majority of the people as a basic unit of measurement is called standard unit the scientists all over the world have accepted a basic set of units for measuring basic physical quantities that is measurement of mass length time temperature etc this set of units is called standard international system of units it is generally referred to as si units si system of units so the unit of physical quantity should have the following characteristics beta it should be of convenient size its value that is magnitude should not change with respect to place or time a measurement of physical quantity is made up of two parts that is magnitude and the unit For example if the length of a park is 200 meters then 200 is the magnitude and meter is the unit and it is the standard unit According to SI system of unit the fundamental unit of length is meter In short meter is written is denoted as m So what do you understand by standard unit the majority of the people of the whole world accept a basic unit of measurement 
and that is known as the standard unit scientists all over the world have accepted basic set of units for measurement for measurement for measuring things if you have to measure length there is meter then if you have to measure some other quantities then there are certain standard units set for them that we will read further on right now we are concentrating on measuring measurement of length so the standard unit for length is meters that is denoted by m definition of meter that is very important it is the length between two fine marks on a metal bar made of platinum iridium alloy this bar is maintained at constant temperature and is placed on two rollers it is kept near paris in france 1 meter is 110 millionth of the distance from the equator to the north pole along the longitude passing through paris in france so 10 millionth is 1 upon 10 millions now multiples of meter the meter is not a convenient unit for expressing long lengths meter is the standard unit but that does not mean that now you have to measure every distance in meters no some things which need centimeter then centimeter will be used then sometimes for longer distance we need kilometers so kilometers will be used for example the distance between amritsar and new delhi is 4 lakh 70000 meters or 470000 meters it is far more convenient to say that the distance between amritsar and new delhi is 470 kilometers you know how to convert meter to kilometer you have been taught by your maths teacher to convert kilometer to meters and from meter to kilometers okay now we have so here the word kilo refers to 1000 thus 1 km stands for 1000 meters 1 km is equals to 1000 meters for moving further you need to watch this video to understand the different measurements and units of length and distance if you have any doubt or query you may comment on the comment section related to the topic and we will clarify it in our next segment thank you it's easier to measure a great distance using something of greater length and to measure shorter lengths it is easier to use a shorter thing you have seen that for yourselves haven't you yes Kids, you all must have gone to a cloth shop with your parents, right? Yes. Well, there you must have seen somebody measuring a sheet of cloth with the help of a long metal scale. Yes. Hmm. A sheet of cloth must measure the same no matter who measures it. That is why a long metal scale is used to measure cloth in a cloth shop. This scale is 1 meter long. The meter is a standard unit which is used for measuring length. If we divide a meter into 100 equal parts, each part is called a centimeter. So, I can say that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. We measured the distance between the gate post with a swing. Now, let's use this meter scale and measure it again in meters and centimeters yes yeah, surely this distance between the post is 3 meters and 80 centimeters my big brother uses a small ruler from his compass box to measure short distances all right tony now that you've spoken about a ruler let me show you a ruler 
the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on written beside the bigger markings on this ruler show centimeters. Between two big markings there are small markings. Can you see them? Yes! They show units of length smaller than centimeters. Now let us use this standard scale to measure the chalk stick again. Yeah, sure. The chalk is 8 centimeters long. Meter, centimeter. A meter is a hundred times as long as a centimeter. We use the standard unit meter to measure bigger distances. Now this is a meter scale. In the table, write whether you will measure the following lengths or distances in centimeters or meters. Length of a pencil. Well, that has to be measured in centimeter. Distance between two buildings. That has to be measured in meters. Width of a road. That has to be measured in meters as well. Now the length of your notebook. Can you take a guess? You're right, we'll measure it in centimeters. Length of a mobile phone. That's correct, it has to be measured in centimeter. Distance between two poles. That has to be measured in meters.